everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last time, we went through Boo's Mansion and added another to our ranks. Not Bo, Lady Bo. And now, we can do a few other things in Boo's Mansion before we head out. In fact, we can do quite a few things in general in this area, so let's get started. Yes, Kirby, I, I, I love you. <laughs> Kirby, uh... <laughs> I am sure this cat has hearing damage because of how much I yell around him when making videos. Oh my god, I am so sorry, Kirby. Welcome to Boo's shop. How can I scare you today? <laughs> That's a good line. I like that. Uh, we had a certain Boo who wanted... Uh, I just said Boo who... Oh wait, are you not the shopkeeper? Huh. Yeah, I do have a letter to Frankie and Boo's mansion. I guess it just isn't you. I want to check several of my items with you, and you sell quite a lot of helpful stuff. Right over there, you already see the Life Shroom, and you should get excited. So, Super Shroom, Life Shroom for 50 coins. That's pretty damn good. I'm glad I got a Life Shroom on me right now, and if you don't, maybe you want to buy that. Maple Syrup, Snow Mantle, which, by the way, sells for a profit at Dry Dry Outpost. We can normally buy stopwatches now, which we still haven't been able to do, but I'll just tell you that stop is the best status in the game because it lasts the most turns. It prevents enemies from doing anything, but a lot of strong enemies have high resistance to it because it's so good. Just try it when you don't want to fight something. In a group of enemies, if it stops just one enemy, that's good. And then a mystery. Who knows what it does? Take a chance and find out! We can get this grab bag for just one coin, and I want to buy as many as I can carry. Or I want to check more items so that I can carry even more, because that's not enough! That's looking a lot better! These items have a lot of different potential uses, and... I'll meet you back outside the mansion. Oh. There's several things we can do back in Toad Town with our super boots, and it doesn't really take that long to go to and fro. So let's go fro! No! Bugs, get them off me! I'm lost in a freaky forest! So scared! I think you know who that is. Eek! Oh, Mario. Oh, thank, I mean, ha ha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again! Why, it's Junior Trooper. Have you been crying? Did you get lost in there? Hey, shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child! I'm your worst nightmare! Here comes the pain! If we had Paracarrier Bow, they would have called him a lost child to his face. They all have texts like that. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before! Check this out! More power! Ooh, no! No! If you can fly, that really does make you better than everybody else! We can't do this! It's Junior Trippa. I can't get enough of this guy. What? Did the little guy get lost in the big bad forest? Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 1. Apparently he's grown a wing so he can fly now. You'll have to jump to reach him. He's a bit stronger, so it may be worth using any items you have to attack him. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Let's go ahead and pop one of these mysteries just to see what happens. It's capable of being any item on that roulette, except for the pebble, which does one damage to Mario instead of giving you a pebble. Fire flower, that could be good. Stone cap. Oh, wow, okay. Having some fried egg with my fried chicken wings. Three damage. Not really all that spectacular. Okay. All right. Can I... Let me think about this. So I just realized that I only have Sleep Stomp on. He's weak against Shrink, like a lot of bosses are, and I kind of wanted to use that. Okay, now Sleep Stomp doesn't seem to have any effect on him. Uh, he had Defense, so I think I'm gonna go Paracarry for this one. Sorry, Lady Bow, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, four right there. So now I think it's time for me to Power Bounce. I just realized that I'm kind of low on health. Nice! Did half of his health with that stuff. And then we can shell shot him. Booyah! Better than lucky! <laughs> Having power rush is just really, really good, man. Here we go. I sadly skipped ahead of this at the beginning of the fight. He calls himself Junior Koopa when trying to threaten you. This could be a typo, or he could just be really afraid so he says his name wrong. I'm not sure which. Just felt like adding insult to injury, buddy. I knew you'd appreciate it. That's like your thing. No double star points on a boss fight still. 
No! Darn it, darn it, darn it! Well, that was certainly a thing. Oh, I made it out of the forest! I could kiss the ground! Yahoo! I guess he was gonna be a boss before Boo's Mansion, but he got lost in the forest, so it took him a little longer to catch up with us. I do like how people getting lost in the forest is a regular trend. It sympathizes with my childhood self. So the first thing I want to do in town is cook mysteries. They can make lots of different items, and it's super fun just seeing what you get. Uh-oh. No, come on. You gave me a mistake on the first one now. This has a 50-50 chance of making a mistake or one of 23 other items. I won't be listing off every single thing that you can get because I want to be surprised. Okay, I'll finish. I don't exactly know what it is, but sometimes experiments turn out to be great. Here, please. A kooky cookie. I think that's what they call the Pokemon Krabby in the anime. So it'll give us electric, sleepy, or transparent status while restoring 15 FP. That is a typo. It actually restores 30 FP. That's an item that we cannot cook otherwise, so yeah, we got it early. Second up, we got a Super Soda. Got another mistake. Thunder Rage! And I believe that's all I had room for. I kind of wish that I brought 10 of them now. Oh well. It was still fun and we could always do it again later. What's even cooler about cooking mysteries is this counts toward getting those items on the blackboard. It doesn't make you do it the legit way. You can just cheat and get some of them through mysteries. Nothing there. And now, let's go dig up a corpse! I wonder how old Mario is uh, doing in his uh, quest. Mario! Uh-oh. I, I mean, uh, never mind. How did you find this place? So this is what he does when we're gone. He takes a spoon and digs out a basement underneath our house in secret. Anything wrong? Nothing suspicious in the basement, was there? What's that, Mario? You need something. Mm -hmm. He what? Mr. Koopa Koop wants to get my autograph. Me? He wants me to sign something. Oh, cool, I'm flattered. I guess maybe I'm a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Eh, uh, in your dreams. Wait one second. I'll write it out right now. Here you are, Mario. My autograph. Give my regards to Mr. Koopakoot, okay? The fact that the worst person in this entire world is the only fan of Luigi we have ever seen is some high-class shade. Not low-hanging fruit at all. And then we have, um... So we could go deliver that to Mr. Koopakoot, but... He can wait. He can really wait. He has other favors for us to do, but I don't want to break the pace of too much, so we'll be sure to do that another time. Now, if we go back. Aw, oh, Merlin, you're looking depressed. Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. Ha, <laughs> fortunate timing. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert town, dry, dry out. Boost. Something good will happen! So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense to at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. As we go to investigate, did you notice that Luigi had a diary that he picked up and then ran off with because he didn't want us to see it? While we were in Dry Dry Outpost, I renewed the spell. It was about time because this is coming up a lot and we're not going to be back for a while. Please do something. All right, let's run around Sideshow Bob. Running around the tree, running around the tree, running around, running around, running around the tree, running around the tree. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said, there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside that house, something good should happen to you. <laughs> a house with a whirling roof, as if that existed, ha! I don't take dreams seriously. 
What sort of motorized mechanism would you have to do to make your roof spin around like that? That sounds so it, that sounds so expensive and like it would wear out really quickly. But I don't know, I don't have a spinning roof. There are a lot of detours all over the world that we can do with spin jumps, panels like that, as well as hidden star pieces. It would be kind of unrealistic to go around the world getting them all at this point in time, and it does eventually become easier to get those star pieces, so we'll be saving that for later. For now, I believe we want to go back to where we started from. This badge is quick change! I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. Quick change! Changes your party member and attacks with it on that turn. So now we can change our party members around for free and not have to consume all turn doing it. That's sort of what it just said. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It costs four BP, which I remember as a kid thinking didn't sound worth it, but no, this thing is awesome. It can help you out when you least expect it, and you effectively have access to your entire move set at all times. No more forgetting Goombaria for tattles. Or, you know, um, have, being well prepared for fighting, you know. Oh, Feist T, heard you were afraid of ghosts. Mario, behind you! Ah! Ghost! Guess what? I'm not here! <laughs> back to Boo's Mansion we go, and I have a bit of a story for the road. I remember back 14 years ago when I ran through this game with you for the first time, that I had this viewer who was kinda young from his icon. His username was Nogative1, I'm pretty sure. I can't find the channel now, but he sent me so many messages in the lead up to chapter three telling me, now Chugga, don't forget about Luigi's diary. Always in that wording over and over again. And we couldn't actually read his diary in chapter three. He just grabbed it and ran away. But still, I think I get what he was going for. I think he was a little kid who was trying really hard to be helpful. I wanted to tell you that 14 years later, I still remember that and I didn't forget. I made sure to do it. Thank you. I don't know how I remember this so well. I guess I just committed it to memory because I really didn't want to let him down, but yeah, I still remember that all this time later. It'd be cool if he saw this video now that he's an adult or something like that. I don't know if he still watches my videos, of course, but maybe. Anyway, back to our fun adventure. I was thinking of not taking this heart block, but it turned out I had exactly six HP when coming back, so I figured I might as well do it to make things convenient. I have equipped myself for war. I have lots of attacking items, FP recovery, got a live stream in case my strategies don't work out. Let's go. Go ahead, open it. I mean, I was getting to that. I wasn't close enough to press it. Uh, oh, you weren't talking to me. Oh. So Mario, we're on our way. Are you scared? Yes, very much so. God, he's like her lap dog just jumping when she says anything. I relate very much. Here we are, Gusty Gulch. Uh, no, oh, I was trying to do something cool there. So the spin jump, no promises I'll be able to actually pull this off, but it has a special first strike that does more damage if you can pull it off on an enemy. So, quick change. I didn't have to remember to swap in Goombaria before the fight if I don't wanna. Yeah, instantly worth the four BP it cost. This is a Hyper Power Goomba. Hyper Power Goombas are Hyper Goombas with wings. Max HP seven, attack power one, defense power zero. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charge deck will take away eight HP, so watch out when they start to glow. It'll miss you if you can become transparent. Except for that, they're no different from no normal Paragoombas, so use a jump attack to defeat them. I believe that means I can just stomp him and I can get two Tattles knocked out for the price of one. Oh, it's cute. He's gonna charge up. He's meditating. He's in some kind of like deep trance right now. Ooh. This is a Hyper Goomba. Hyper Goombas are crazy, uncivilized Goombas living in Guzzard Eagles. What have you got against the Spanish? Screw you, Goombario. This place I think is based on Spain. It's, there's like a windmill gulch called La Mancha in Spain and it looks just like that. Next HP seven, attack power one, defense power zero. They got some son of charge their power before attacking. The charge attack will take away eight HP, so watch out when they start to glow. It's a good idea to use bow or an item to become transparent. That attack will miss for sure. 
Uh, we'll just jump on you. It's not like we're gonna let you hurt us or anything. I guess I could have to get into danger quickly though, but I don't wanna be two HP. You wanna be five HP exactly, so that way you're not necessarily gonna die. Um, you just gain a, a dry trip. Yeah, that's really useful. Well, ah! It's okay, it's okay. I'll just get hurt on purpose right here. It just occurred to me, Gumbario's third move is charge. I haven't really had a chance to show it off yet because it hasn't been terribly useful for any situation. But, Gumbario, you are a hyper Goomba. Do we need to talk? Is this some kind of self-loathing thing that you're oppressing and projecting onto them? No, I want to get hurt. I have not been guarding attacks because I want to take damage. You fool. Not picking up that heart, not picking up that heart because some people keep giving me healing when I don't want it. Two partners, oh no, the universe is gonna implode. Oh, Lady Bo, what a surprise seeing you. You know your ladyship, you really shouldn't come around here, it's dangerous. Tubba Blubba can come here at any time. I know, I came here to teach that Tubba Blubba a lesson. Bring him on, when was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady, it was horrible. He, uh, this time he ate Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome, oh no, not Herbert, poor Herbert. He was so dark and depressing, what a terrific boo. Oh no, not Herbert. Oh, Tubba Blubba, he must be stopped. Listen, everyone, do not fear. We're on our way to defeat this Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. Oh, lady, your bravery is inspiring. But you know he's called the invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? When you come across Tubba Blubba, don't fight. He's invincible. Although somebody claims to have no weakness, must have at least one. If you could find it somehow. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah, we've heard all sorts of talk of this. Psst, buddy. You know you can walk slowly and stuff. Leave my move in the control stick a little bit. You can use this technique to walk quietly and avoid waking sleeping people. As a boo who lives here in Gusty Gulch. Have you ever looked closely at boos? I think they have a really charming face. <laughs> Just the other creatures, there's some that are really cute and some that aren't. Which is which, though? <laughs> yeah, who is one to decide that? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know? You've gotta watch out when you fight Hyper Goombas. They charge up with their attack power and then unleash it. The best thing to do when they char you charge up is to use Out of Sight with Lady Bow. I haven't gotten to Bow yet, man. I'm still working on it. I had a friend who escaped from Tubble Blubba's castle the other day and he said, the key to solving the secret is in the innermost room. Pay attention to both the heart and body. And don't. Then just as he was finishing Tubble Blubba, I ate him. I wonder what the rest of his message was. Well, that sure isn't convenient. Not taking that, I got full FP. Oh, hello. Boo, I guess. Poor effort, sorry. I had a weird dream last night. This dream voice said, sometimes you must turn and run away. You must run and run until you reach the tower with the spinning veins. Something like that anyway, what could it mean? Everyone's just having dreams lately and taking them seriously. My friend escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle. He claims Tubba Blubba hides something incredibly important right next to his bed. I wonder what it could be. Hello there. You're going to beat up Tubba Blubba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never eat another ghost. Never! Especially not! Oh, oh no, Tubba Blubba's coming! Everybody hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! You, switch with me! Mario, we have to hide. Use my power, immediately! Press C down! I don't really wanna, I don't know, I'm not really sure about this. Are you really sure this is gonna be so bad? I mean, tons of people have claimed they could never be beat and I did it just fine. Um. Well, okay, if you insist. Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. No, there's no way Tubba Blubba can see you right now. Uh. Mmm, looks yummy. I needed a snack. Uh, a little tangy, but good. I took one look at that face and went, yep, that's what we're going with. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! Because you're ghosts, right? Uh, now's not the time for puns, I guess. Stanley, no! Uh, why? You too. Well, after making it to Gusty Gulch, I say we end things here, and next time on Paper Mario, we start getting some revenge. See you guys then.